So if we talk about users of your software, um, what's the feedback that you get the most that, uh, that, that the users appreciate the most about BuildOps? Yeah, great question. So I think it's the seamless nature of having everything under a single roof is, um, is, is just really, really positive feedback that we kind of hear consistently. Um, the ability to push out quotes in a, in, a, in a very expedient way and, and ultimately you know, close more business. Um, a very professional look for their customers, our customers' customers in terms of the quality of the invoices, the speed of the invoices, the quality of the quotes, um, the capturing of data and information, especially on pictures and photos on jobs that are disseminated appropriately um, and, and provide transparency for our customers and provide their customers. Um, and having it all in kind of a seamless, intuitive, simple workflow that's truly end-to-end -end, um, and not having to navigate between, you know, six different solutions um, to kind of to do your job right and, and to operate effectively and then the other very significant piece of feedback i hear across the board is the quality of our team um i just hear this literally every day like like your team is absolutely phenomenal they're super responsive they um like you know did a phenomenal job of training our technicians and folks in the back office of getting us comfortable and really training and educating us so that we can optimize the full power of the platform as opposed to you know a cookie cutter type solution that doesn't work for our business or only works like 50 or 60 percent of the time and then you know finding out that there's another 40 percent of the platform that they're not properly utilizing so um i think just the extraordinary level of customer service of, of how we go above and beyond for all of our customers in tandem with the all-in-one intuitive seamless nature of the end-to-end -end solution. Um, and then the visibility it provides owners um, for reporting, especially. Like if you can't measure it, you can't grow it, right? So, and while that's sort of like a very, you know, common old adage that uh, people hear a lot like it's it's just so real right so like like you just you cannot achieve your objectives if you're trying to go from five to ten million over the next 24 months i just got off the phone with a customer that's kind of in that range to um you know customers that are doing 200 and trying to um, streamline operational efficiencies and cut costs and grow their overall ebitda but they're you know in a pretty strong place on the top line um, or they're trying to go from, you know, uh, 30 to 50 on, on the service side. But um, as you're trying to dramatically grow these, your business in a, in a competitive, you know, uh, environment, I just, I just can't think of a tool that's more important to invest in than best in class technology because the return on your investment is exponential to anything else that you do in your company, right? Like if you're on great technology that's seamless, that's easy to use, that's powerful, that um, can automate, you know, various processes that provide you visibility of cash flow, that creates uh, where, where you can have powerful reports that are um, meaningful for your business. There's just like, there's nothing more meaningful to that in terms of your ability to scale your business than you can. If you don't have eyes deep into the different necks of your business and you don't have visibility on, from an owner's perspective and a management perspective, um, and it doesn't really matter how big the jobs are and how many people you have and what your top line revenues is, is if you're not carefully monitoring um, what type of growth that is and how that flows to the bottom line.